Okay, in this video I'm going to show real quickly how you would do a study model uh, that you subtract the nerve out of a mandible. Um, so this is going to be using a function called a Boolean subtraction and these make for really nice study models um, and so I'll show you how I do it here. So the first thing you need to do is you need to start with a segmented jaw. In this case we've got the mandible segmented in this case. If you were to turn the CT on you can see uh, that that coincides exactly. This was done by Image 3D Conversion. They do a really excellent job at that. Um, so what I've done now is also mapped the nerves. And so you can see that I've got both of the mandibular nerves mapped. Uh, I even did an incisive canal up here for the maxilla. Um, but now once you've got those two pieces of information, you've correctly mapped the nerve, now you're ready to go ahead and do the Boolean subtraction. Now that's not currently a function in Blue Sky Plan. As of today, I'm making this video, although it will be very soon, the ability to do Boolean uh, additions and subtractions. And so what we're going to need to do is export these files and go into Mesh Mixer or another program to do that. So go to Export Data. And first thing I want to do is just export the mandible. And so you can see I've got a bunch of STLs. Check everything off except for uh, the mandible. Name this, save it wherever you want it to uh, be. So I'm going to put it on my desktop and just call it Mandible, and we'll say OK. And then I want to come back up and also export the nerves. And so this time I'll turn uh, all of the jaw STLs off, and I'm going to turn off the incisive canal. So just these two mandibular nerves, and we'll export those. We'll call this nerves. Again, save it on the desktop. OK. And now we've got the information that we need. So I can minimize this. And now let's find these uh, files. So I'm going to click this. Oops, wrong program. Give me just a second and I'll uh, go into the right program. Mesh Mixer. Okay, so here we go. Maximize this window, and you can see we have a mandible here. It's just a solid mandible, though, right now. So I'm going to import, and I'm going to append, and what I want to append is the nerves. So let's find that file, uh, nerves, and you can see it pulls this right in, and now we have uh, both nerves. Now, one thing I will tell you, if, if you look currently, these nerves um, are joined together as a single STL. Okay, so even though they're two distinct objects, they're functioning together. And so what I want to do um, is separate these. So I'm going to use the select tool, highlight it, and go up to edit and separate. So now you see it just created another STL surface, and I can turn these on and off independently. You could have uh, just done that as easily by exporting them one at a time, um, so whichever way you prefer. Now, once I've done this, I can look at my model, and let's subtract this nerve first. So what you're going to want to do is you've got these three objects. You want to select first the object that is going to have something subtracted from it. Okay, so in that case, this is the mandible, and then hold down control and left click the nerve. Now that's clicking this other nerve, so I need to come back, deselect that, and now we've got it. When you control select and now have done two objects, you're going to see an option for Boolean difference. Click Boolean difference, and you can see that it subtracts that away. Um, I find also that you need to go back and uncheck these two boxes. So preserve group borders, check that off and auto reduce result check that off and once you've done that you can click ok and accept this all right so that's good i like these to be a through and through um, so that i could if i print this in clear i can inject this with uh, pvs or some material that's of a different color it just makes for a really nice looking study model now one thing i do notice is that this other side i'm not going to be able to do that because there's no hole and so my options would be to do the subtraction and once i print this i could do a drill and drill till i hit that um, but rather i think it'll be a, a reasonable option to go ahead and turn this off and let's just extend this back a little bit so i'm going to select just the tip of this nerve okay and then push T for transform, and this will allow you now to extend this on back. And the purpose of this, again, is just to allow us to um, extend this nerve so that there is a through and through hole, 
and so that we get a complete subtraction. Okay, so now that that's done, I can click out of that and we're going to select the mandible, control, select the nerve, Boolean difference, uncheck preserve group borders, uncheck auto reduce result, and here we have it. And so now we have this really nice model. If you were to look at this in a cross section, uh, you would be able to see that we've got that nerve um, tube now basically running throughout the mandible and it's in the correct anatomic position. And so there's a lot of ways that I use this, uh, this function for Boolean subtractions. You know, if I wanted to do a um, bone block guide for doing, a, a, let's say I made a surgical guide on the mandible and I wanted to um, make a guide to take out a chunk of the ramus, I could just position a block, something like this, scale this down in size, You know, position this wherever it needs to be in the position of my ramus graft, avoiding that nerve, and then do a Boolean subtraction from that guide, leaving me a, uh, a template where I would need to make the bony outline. So there's a lot of useful uh, functions for this Boolean subtraction, and I think as you play with it more and more, you'll continue to find more of them. All right, thanks.